My name is Chris, and uh, this is my first video. Um, I've been thinking about this, talking about it, and all kinds of stuff for um, a couple years now. And uh, I've just been waiting to have the right setup. And uh, I don't, I don't at all. Um, and in fact, I've got uh, far less of a setup um, right now than I ever have. And uh, everything that I'm using right now is borrowed. I'm uh, in a friend's work shed. Um, I'm borrowing this uh, backdrop behind me. Um, and in fact, the uh, computer that I'm recording this on um, is not mine. Um, and uh, it was time. It was time just to get started uh, rather than wait anymore. And uh, so uh, I'll talk a bit more, a more about myself. Um, I am actually one of my favorite subjects to talk about. So uh, you'll hear a lot about me um, as we do more videos and stuff. Uh, but uh, as I was trying to think of uh, what I would talk about in the first episode, how I'd get this thing started, um, I said I'd start where, um, not in the beginning, in the beginning, but the point at which I knew that. Um, I had something to share. Um, the point at which I knew that uh, kind of these feelings and things that I had about, you know, wanting to write or wanting to um, do a podcast or any of the other stuff, um, the point at which I knew that there was something to that and that uh, I actually uh, had something to say. Um, and so go back about a year and a half and uh, after creating a lot of chaos and uh, broken relationships in my life, which uh, undoubtedly I will talk about uh, throughout this series. Um, I had moved to Oregon uh, about a thousand miles uh, away from uh, my, uh, my uh, now ex-wife, who I was uh, newly separated from, and uh, my children. And uh, after I had been in Oregon about um, three weeks or four weeks, I was sitting one day and thinking about how much I miss my kids. And uh, for some reason, I decided um, that I should sit down and write a letter to my son um, that would have everything in it that I would want him to know um, if this was my final communication with him. And uh, that, that I really wanted to, you know, give him the letter of uh, what it means to be a man and, you know, in this world. And so I sit down at my computer and I begin to kind of think over what I'm going to write him. And I said, just to kind of let it flow and uh, see what happened. And so um, I sat down and I, and I typed and um, I just, uh, I just opened up my heart and showed straight from that. Um, and uh, after about an hour, um, I was done and I read over what I wrote and I thought, there you go. I actually got something to share. Um, and uh, so uh, I've been writing a lot since then. I've been uh, talking a lot. I've been uh, interacting and uh, engaging life with my whole heart. Um, since that point and uh, have learned a lot and um, have been growing a lot. But for today, I want to I, I want to share with you where this particular journey for me started. Um, and I want to share the letter that I wrote um, to Joshua. So here we go. It says to my son Joshua, as he transitions into his teenage years and young adulthood, you know that I've been working for a while now to get myself better and be able to be a better daddy for you and your sister. And I wanted to share with you what I've learned. You are an incredibly bright person. And while some of what I write may be over your head right now, I know that you'll understand most of it. And I think it'd be helpful if you saved this letter and read it at times to help remind you. Of course, you can talk to me or mommy um, or anyone else with questions uh, or really about anything else um, that comes up from this letter. So I'm going to start with the three most important principles that um, I've learned and that I'm using every day in my life. The first is to remember who you are. 
They're made of the same eternal energy that has given birth to stars and has destroyed galaxies when their time has come. And as such, you are a vital and integral part of the universe, indelibly connected to the whole. And in the interconnected nature of reality, the role that you get to play is as meaningful and important as any other that has ever existed or will ever exist in all of eternity. The second is to learn how to be present in your life, to experience your experiences. In our childhood, we teach ourselves to understand everything around us. And even more importantly, we teach ourselves how to feel safe and how to protect ourselves from that which we do not yet understand. Now, you begin to, uh, the learning process that you will be in for the rest of your life. You get to learn to be present to life and all of its many experiences, instead of just automatically reacting. All of the wonderful skills and explanations learned in childhood have done an amazing job of helping you to understand why the world works as it does and of protecting you from the experiences that you were not yet ready for. And you can now start to learn new perspectives. In every experience that you will ever experience, no matter how spectacular or mundane, there is an opportunity, if you are open to seeing it, to discover something new and to grow ever closer to living life exactly as you want and you were called to. The third principle is to be a space of openness and acceptance. When you are open to all possibilities and in acceptance of life and everything within, you are on the path of truth. This is the only road that you were ever called to walk from before the start of time. Any other path is counterfeit. The deep of the universe is calling to the deep in each of us calling us each back to the true oneness of reality and reminding us of the interdependent, cooperative nature of everything that is. When we are open, we are able to see possibilities and perspectives that forward us towards wholeness and deeper connection. When we are accepting, we know our own value and we are able to see the value existing in each and every part of life, and we could then show the value that we see. Openness and acceptance are the only keys to experiencing love, gaining wisdom, and truly knowing wholeness. Any value that we see or that we show, and all love, all wisdom, and all wholeness that we experience can only be experienced to the degree that we are open and accepting. And as we become more open and discover each new level of acceptance, we will also experience new levels of love, wisdom, and wholeness. It is through this that all of our being and our authentic self flows. As we become more and more our authentic selves on this path, we get to be beacons of healing and transformation to people that are still trapped in their pain and defenses. We get to broadcast love and oneness to all and be the forerunners of reunification and wholeness. So those are the three principles. Know yourself, experience your experiences, and always be open and accepting. They are simply said and not overly complicated principles to understand um, or implement. Although I've found so far that they are seemingly infinite in what they have to show as they are lived out. Now, just one more thing to note, that while not as central overall as the three above mentioned principles, is an important piece for you and I and others with similar personalities. Just like me, you have always shown a high degree of compassion and tenderness, and I want you to know that your compassionate and tender heart is your strength, even though it may often feel like a weakness. Lead with your tenderness and let your compassion guide you. That is the only way for you to stay on the path. I know all too well the pain that comes with such strong empathy. I know that it will feel like others take advantage of your sensitivity or compassion, and you may have learned to avoid or ignore your feelings in order to protect yourself, just like I did. And I also know that your sensitivity is your strongest gift to others, and is also your main point of connection. And when your main protection is to silence your emotions, then eventually you will stop giving of yourself to others and you will become disconnected. Additionally, you'll actually end up causing far more pain to yourself and others than whatever original pain you were attempting to avoid. And I have some really great news. When you practice the three principles that I shared in the beginning of the letter, you'll not only learn everything that you need to know in order to experience life without hiding from it, but you'll also discover your own worth and know the value of your giftedness. And once you really know what you're worth, you will never again feel taken advantage of, or used, and even better, is that someone would not be able to take advantage of you even if they wanted to. Despite initial appearances or experiences, life really is good and meant to be lived fully. There are many people around us that already know and live these truths, 
and I know that the universe is in perfect order, and humanity's current rejection of the natural cooperative and interdependent order can be brought to an end when enough of us choose love, acceptance, oneness, and cooperation. I am proud of who you are, and I know you are already making a difference in my life and the rest of the family, and I look forward to seeing you grow into the man that you get to be in the world. I love you. Dad. So I finished that. I read it over again, and I, uh, emailed it to, uh, to my ex-wife to give her a son, and uh, I looked back at it, and I knew that the truth there um, is truth that we all know. It's, uh, it's written on our very core. Um, but right now, uh, we're playing a game where we pretend like that's not the case. We pretend as if um, we're not all one and connected, and we pretend as if somehow this is a game of winners and losers, and this is a game where I can take as much as I want, um, or I need to take before someone else takes, um, or kill or be killed. Um, and uh, it's not very fun. Um, in fact, it's really shitty. And uh, I'm tired of playing this way, especially when we know the truth, this truth. Um, in reality, and it doesn't matter who it is, um, whether it's uh, someone in ISIS or Donald Trump or um, Mahatma Gandhi, I, I mean, he's dead, but um, get what I'm saying. Uh, we all just want the same thing deep down inside, every single person on earth. Um, and it's just to love and be loved, to hold and be held, and to belong. And. Uh, We've made up all kinds of things. Uh, we've given all kinds of meanings to different experiences that have told us that it's not safe. And uh, that pain is to be avoided at all costs. Um, and uh, the truth is, we just get to be open. We just get to be accepting and let down our defenses and go. So, there you go. That's my start. Um, and... Uh, I'll be back. Not sure when the next video is going to be posted, but uh, it will be for sure. Uh, not sure if I'll be sitting here with this lovely backdrop or if I'll be somewhere else. Um, but you'll hear from me. And uh, I mean, you could ask anyone who knows me. It's uh, damn near impossible to shut me up. So until uh, next time, uh, stay safe and be well.